What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, what we're gonna talk about is why you should buy, go out and buy a Ram TRX. So one thing that I absolutely love about the Ram TRX, and I appreciate sure you guys know, is the sound of the badass stock exhaust that comes on with it already. <laughs> A few more other reasons you know you got oh let me start the truck real quick it's already been started i just got home from work so um it's already in the warm start so it's already all warmed up and everything ready to go but let's just go turn the music down because i don't want to get pummeled for you know copyright issues but just look at this nice big 12 inch screen that you have to offer you get the all the ram modes come on Sometimes it takes a little bit, but you got all these, you got sport, you got tow, you got snow, you got auto, custom. So you could go down here and do, well, this is for auto setup. And however you want it to automatically come on when you start up the truck. Or you go back into custom, change it around however you want. You cannot put it in, uh, which one was it? This is, um, oh yeah, of course you can't put it in uh, rock mode because you got to be and for low for that. And also, let's go back in here to check out your performance. This will take a little bit. Of course, I got my son with me. Hi. Want to come in and look at, uh, do the video with me as well. Let's turn it down. It's, it's a little warm in here right now. 58 degrees out, but it is cloudy. It, we had nothing but rain today, and it sucked pretty much. Enjoying that, Dr. Pepper? Mm-hmm. Don't tell your mom. Okay. Okay, so now we got here, we got all the power and the torque. So if I were to give it a little bit of throttle, hopefully my neighbors won't come out and kill me. He'll jump up just a little bit, probably about 180 pound feet of torque and probably about a, I'd say 100, maybe a little bit lower of horsepower. So you got that going for you. And let's go back here. Oh. And of course you got your race options. You got your launch control mode, shift flight, race cool down. Launch control, I have mine set at 2300 RPMs. You can, of course, adjust it to, I think you could drag it, but apparently not. So it only goes up to, what, 3000? Oh, it's just a little bit laggy. Yeah. So 35,000 RPM is a max. I'm just gonna leave that down here. Apparently, do it too fast it doesn't want to do it so 2300 that's where i have mine at of course you have all these nice little options you got four wheel uh four wheel high four low axle lock for um you know tricky situation getting stuck or if you're in mud snow and whatnot and of course this is just a badass truck let's go look at the other options that you, that it comes with so of course you got the nice toy screen tv yes ran up church holla boys Great song, love it. Um, here, I don't know, this is what came with it. I think it's just part of the Sirius XM uh, experience. I purchased another like uh, six months of that. So prices, so this is, I have a set for premium fuel. So the cheapest premium fuel right now is at 7-Eleven, 4.3 miles away at 437. Um, I have noticed that it has been off by at least one cent up or down. So not a huge, deal i mean um it's definitely nice to have especially if you're going around town in places you don't know like uh okay which place has the cheapest gas okay so let's go to 7-eleven and go now pull that up and you're good to go the only thing i don't like is how that gps looks it just looks like the old style when gps's first came out that's one thing i probably really don't like and let's take a look at the fuel mileage oh look at it just all the LEDs making the, it flash. So uh, I'm getting about 10.1 uh, miles to the gallon right now, average. I uh, haven't done a reset on it. Fuel economy course, and you got your performance. So I need to do my uh, 60 time, off-road, vehicle info, speedometer, diagnostics. Let's see, checking 
see if have any, uh, anything throwing codes at me. My, oh, no, dang, that's codes this time. That's good. And don't need that. Messages, nope. Audio, Bluetooth, trailer tow, trip info. Where's the one I want? Ah, here it is. So top speed in here, and this wasn't me, 117 miles an hour. Was not me. Zero 60 time. Uh, what is it? Drag times, okay. Braking distance. Ooh, your uh, current G-forces that you're putting on the truck and everything. That's pretty cool. Off-roading, where is, here, this is what I wanted. Engine torque, engine power, horsepower, 850. All the way up to 850, dang. Airflow ratio, okay, 13.8, this is a max. So um, I'm doing pretty good. I used uh, usually between 91, 92 fuel, boost pressure, coolant, tire PSI at 39, perfect. Right where it needs to be, coolant temp, trans. I could have sworn there was something in here. Engine torque. Huh. Yeah, I was thinking of something else. Huh. Oh, well, but yeah. Um, of course, you got the nice panoramic sunroof. And I, this is a level two, so it's got the nice carbon fiber as well. And the Harman Kardon sound system was like 20 some odd speakers, something ferocious. Oh, this is very cool. I haven't seen anyone else show this yet. So of course you got the back of camera as well. 360 degree view, front forward camera. Look at that. Turns with the wheel. I haven't seen anyone post anything like that on Facebook. And you can actually drive with this for a short amount of time. Same with the back of camera. So if you got someone that you think is a little too close, you could actually uh, check to see how far away they are from you. Of course you got the heated and ventilation seats. I think I'm, I didn't go, and of course launch chrome, sorry. About that, forgot to mention that. And you also zoom in on it. If you have it, I don't have a trailer hitch hooked up to it just yet. And let's go back to it. And let's go to homepage. And you can see like everything. So fuel prices, movie listings, sports, weather, weather map, all this nice types of stuff on here. And you can actually rotate it as well. And you can add stuff to it as well. I don't plan on anything else on the home screen. I like how it is. And I have the my favorite team set up for the Seattle Mariners, my favorite team by far. Settings, and that's pretty much it for that. So that's definitely one, some of the few things I love about this truck. And of course, it pulls in all the hot women. I already have mine, as you can clearly tell. Yes, love ya. So, if you're single, definitely get the TRX. If you are have a girlfriend, still get the TRX. She'll love you a hell of a lot more than what she does now, I guarantee it. All right, so let's go ahead and jump out of the truck and go ahead and pop the bad boy. Now, where is it? Right there, right in the middle. Of course, you got the nice steps because short people need to get into. All right, let's go and sit in the back. Sorry about the mess in the back seat. And where I was sitting in the front seat, so much more leg room. Like I could literally stretch out right here if I wanted to put my feet up, but uh, the driver would probably hate me because my feet probably sink because I'm working so hard. You know, gotta make money for the truck. My son, <laughs> I think he's out looking for me. I'm in here. And what's also really cool is, oh, back, or we know it's underneath the seat. So you got this little, Lever, lever right here. So you pull that and it reclines or it sits back a little bit so you can kind of like get comfortable. Oh, yeah. Okay, try it out. Show them how it works. Oh, you got, you got the bigger seat. Do it again. Now pull it back. Like, just like that. Tons of room. Tons of room. And of course, you got your nice. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, oh, that must have been. I don't know. That's just a hair comb. Yeah, definitely gonna throw that away because 
<laughs> uh, that must have just came with the truck. Is there anything else in here? Huh, apparently, detail didn't do too good of a job on that, but oh well, right? Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Here, you want to throw it away? Yeah, don't put that. You might get lice. Of course, you got the nice uh, Goodyear Wranglers, 35 inch. Sorry, the grass is wet. My, I don't have my socks on. And with the Bilstein shocks. A nice little drop down tailgate. With everything, nice spray and bed liner. Love it. And of course, for also you uh, short people or older people, no offense. Nice little step stool. As you can tell, it needs a wash. It's been up in the mountains. Give me a break. It's not a, it's not a pavement princess truck. If you treat like a pavement princess, then you don't deserve this truck. T-Rex, bitch. Eating the Raptor. Oh yeah. And of course, you also get the nice supercharged. Ooh, look at that with the SRT Hellcat logo on it. With pure, nice, steady airflow into the cooler itself, giving you max performance. Of course, it's not gonna be work just as well because it is, you know, getting warmer out. You just feel the heat off that engine too, can't you? Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, shut that bad boy. All right, and so also I've been getting a lot of people that have been asking about my the wrap job, and this is done by Wrap It Up Oregon. They're just north of California. But I talked to the guy, and he they did all this freehand and everything. Did a very nice job. There's some spots down here, right here. Like I'm not an expert, but there is some bubbling on here. But you know what? Who cares, right? It's a T-Rex. See. 6.2 liter supercharged V8. What can you get better? What what can you do better to truck? Street speed, don't say anything because I know your TRX did have the twin turbo, which is put now at about a thousand horsepower, but then you got rid of it because you have a lot more money than I do. But that's eventually what I would love to do to my TRX. Oh, gotta lock it because there is a bunch of assholes around. We'll look at those headlights though. Yeah. So yeah, that is the beauty of the T-Rex, and that's why you should go out and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars just for that one truck, even though it, it may or may not lead to a divorce or whatnot, but you know what? You got the truck, she could have the house, live in the truck, Got like I said, you got plenty of room. Unless you're over six feet, that bed ain't gonna fit you, because I'm six foot four and that bed ain't definitely gonna fit me. Luckily, my woman loves me very much, and she doesn't plan on kicking me out just yet. But, so, with that being said, Go out and buy the Ram TRX. What do you got to lose? I still got my house. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for uh, me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more ridiculous videos like that, I just wanted to just uh, do something kind of funny. And um, hopefully you find it funny. If not, oh well, still leave a like and also leave a comment and subscribe because you know what that takes about uh, one second, to two, about two seconds to do both of those things. And it takes me about 10 minutes to edit, so I really appreciate it. Peace!